to the marathon bombing trial now. Jurors examined models of the pressure cooker bombs used in the attacks. They were also shown some graphic autopsy photos of one of the victims. New Center 5's Kelly Tuthill, live in South Boston for us tonight. Kelly? Well, Phil, jurors had pain looks and took deep breaths as they looked at those photos of Crystal Campbell. It ended the week and the day on a very somber note. A medical examiner graphically described how Crystal Campbell suffered, first from the pain of a broken femur, then from up to a minute of severe blood loss before the 29-year-old died on Boylston Street. She had three pieces of metal lodged in her body, BBs embedded in her skin. That testimony came shortly after an FBI bomb expert showed the jury mock-ups he made, recreations of the pressure cooker bombs that killed three people at the Boston Marathon bombing. Jurors handed it to each other in the jury box. Some seemingly surprised at its weight, estimated at over 16 pounds. Ed Knapp explained to the jury using photos from the Boylston Street scene and the brothers' homes to describe how the bombers used everyday materials to create the devices powder from fireworks to fuel the explosion, transmitters from remote controlled cars turned on a Christmas tree light, which triggered a spark to ignite the blast, all wired by green hobby fuses. Knapp testified it's not too difficult of a system to. To build. In fact, he showed jurors how inside an English language online Al Qaeda magazine prints detailed instructions with photos. It concludes put your trust in Allah and pray for the success of your operation. This is your most important rule. Now, the defense tried to make the point that many of the uh, purchases were made by Tamerlan, many of the tools found in his Cambridge apartment. Prosecutors reminded the jury fireworks were found in Johar's dorm room. But the question remains where were the bombs made? We'll talk about that when our report comes up at 6. For now, we're live at federal court. I'm Kelly Tuthill, WCBB News Center 5.